Right, everyone. Uh, session three of the week: repetition, upper body. Firstly, apologies for all the glare from the. It's a very sunny uh, afternoon right now in my garage, um, so I'll try best I can to keep you out of the glare. So, uh, for the prep work, three sets through today of five handstand uh, kickups, um, eight to ten dumbbell or kettlebell high pulls per arm. And then we're going to just skip out for 75 seconds, get the blood flowing, get the heart rate elevated, and play around with some skills on the skipping still. I want people coming in the gym feeling confident on those ropes. Um, so the handstand kickups, <clears throat> pretty much what they say on the tin. We're trying to kick up into a handstand position in a nice controlled manner, not that slam on the wall where you feel like your garage wall is about to fall down. Um, so <clears throat> what we're looking for as well is a good controlled landing back down. So hands nice and close to the wall, get yourself set, in that position, nice and soft, soft down. Okay, for those five repetitions. Then dumbbell or kettlebell high pulls, do about eight per 10. So we've got that kettlebell here. As I said last week, this one's 24, probably a bit heavy for my strict high pull. So from here, a little hip swing. One, two, three. Get those traps firing a little bit as well. Um, and then, do 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 do. I'm not Scotty, I can't do that. It's only five seconds. All right, once we've done the warm up, so play around with a new handstand skill for the day. So I want to look at. Wall walks plus shoulder taps, okay? So I've got five by three wall walks. After every wall walk, wall walk, you have to hit a push up. Um, I want us to increase shoulder taps each set. So on your fifth one is your biggest set. So the scale for this will just be a wall walk plus a hold at the top, just building confidence, getting um, overhead, and ideally a scale of your push up at the bottom as well. Right, wall walk. We'll walk. <clears throat> we wrong way around. Head in the game, Bobs. Right, so I'm starting bottom position from here. There. Try and keep tight. Little steps up. Ready. Tight. Be rep one of a three rep set. Obviously, I did two touches per arm there. That was my choice. You could start with one touch per arm, second set, two touch per arm, third set, three touch per arm, fourth set, four. You know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Five sets. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to just get a bit more shoulder and tricep work in. So, uh, strength set. I want um, four sets through of single arm dumbbell or kettlebell, Saxon press per side into feet elevated push-ups, okay? So I've gone five to 10 feet elevated push-ups and four to six um, press per side. So again, it's depending on what implements you guys have got. But the Saxon press, did this in the lockdown, but it's been a little while. Basically, you're getting a bit of momentum into the press. So I'm gonna do it kneeling, because my, um, my gym is, my garage has not got the highest ceiling. I don't wanna go smashing any lights. But got my kettlebell here. I'm there. Right from here. So I'm bringing a bit of momentum into that. Now, once I've done that, I've got a trusty chair here. Setting it up. Sorry, that you can see it close up in my ugly mug here. Feet are elevated on the chair. From there, hitting a big set of these push-ups. All right, that scale, so five to 10 reps on the push-ups means you may have to control the lower down to make it hard if you can smash up push-ups, like two, three seconds lower to make that a challenging number. Then finally, to finish it off for the day, three rounds through of dumbbell or kettlebell shrugs, 10 reps per side, so you've probably only got one uh, kettlebell at home. So you just have it by your side, shrug your shoulder, back down, shrug your shoulder, back down. Then um, the body weight tricep extensions that we did last week, 
Um, so that is. With the uh, sound effects. And then, just because 21s, who doesn't love 21s? Okay, see how you go with this. It might be a little bit difficult. I said towel 21s, okay? So what's gonna happen here, you're gonna do seven, bottom of the curl to halfway. Once I've got seven there, I'm gonna go from halfway to the top. And then, do seven, four. So I get to 21, okay? So seven here, seven here, seven here. Oh yeah, hope you enjoy guys.